and boundaries, I'm going to be honest with you, are not my forte. Um, <laughs> uh, Brene, uh, how is giving less of your time considered generous? Because how do I sell that to people is my question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the weirdest part of our research. So early on, maybe 10 years in, I had this stack of data and I was like, these are the most compassionate people I've ever come across. I mean, we were interviewing like monks. We were interviewing really compassionate people. And so we asked ourselves, what do these folks have in common? And I mean, we're talking about close to 500,000 pieces of data over 20 years now. And we're like, what are the, and I thought the answer was gonna be spirituality, like compassionate people have spirituality in common. But I was wrong. The answer is the most compassionate people that we have interviewed and studied over the last 20 years are the most boundary. And so what I've learned is that boundaries are not, you know, as someone who studies vulnerability, I would say boundaries are not a wall or a moat around your heart. They are the path to self-respect. Boundaries are saying that I choose self-love and self-respect over what you think of me or the possibility of disappointing you. And how this ties to generosity in the research is really interesting. And here's, here's the thing. We're not generous and kind to people who are walking all over us.